peace and greetings, soul family. Welcome to Planet Remix Radio. I am your host, of course, Miss Blue, the Soulful Oracle. I want to welcome you on in to Planet Remix Radio. I trust that you are doing well. (laughs) And uh, yeah, it's so good. It's so good to be connecting with you. So now I want to talk to you about this cosmic energy that's currently on the planet and give you a peek into this week and the weeks to come. And currently right now on the earth plane in the Western Hemisphere, it is February the 19th, 2023. So, no matter where in the world you're listening in from, whether you are listening now in this present time, or you are listening from the future, or you're listening from the past and you have traveled to this current moment, I just want to welcome you on in. In this episode of Planet Remix, I'm going to be giving you some practical steps, some magical tools and things that you can begin to do to really maximize, tap in to this energy that is available for everyone who is in our galaxy. (laughs) So no matter what you're doing, You can put this on and listen to it and have it playing in the background. If you're driving, if you're working, or even if you're just moving around and about. And then I want you to take some really good notes and you be the judge. Try these things out for yourself and then let me know down in the comments how it's working for you. I'm sure that you're going to be igniting some magic Hmm. that maybe, just maybe, you didn't know that you had at this time. (laughs) So, sit back and relax and enjoy. Enjoy this cosmic ride on Planet Remix Radio. Oh, my goodness. What a time to be alive. Planet Remix Radio. So glad, so glad that you are joining me here. Yeah. Now, let's get started. (laughs) Yeah, let's get started. We have a few things we're going to be covering. Mm -hmm. The first thing that I want to talk about is this beautiful energy of the Pisces new moon. And this Pisces new moon is so powerful. And let me tell you why. So we have this beautiful energy of Pisces, very spiritual, very psychic, very dreamy energy. And it's happening inside the constellation of Aquarius. Mixed together with all of the other planets in the cosmic skies. And it makes for some very mystical and empowering magic that can occur. But I want to talk to you about this because if you're listening to this, 
The new moon energy is really already upon us. So let's talk about what do you do after the new moon? So number one, I want to bring some things to your attention. And that is anytime we're in this energy of the new moon, I want you to think of it as an opportunity to get a fresh start. Like, I don't really care what your day was like, what happened yesterday, or how you might be feeling. And if you feel like no matter how much you try to move forward, things just aren't moving forward. This is a perfect time, a perfect time to start with a fresh new start because this new moon energy is really a perfect time for new beginnings, new beginnings. It's also an amazing time to release things from ourselves. You know, growing up on planet Earth is not always easy. And sometimes we still have things in our lives, in our physical lives that we need to release, as well as things that we need to release from ourselves, like in our mind. Things we need to release in our mind. Traumas, you know, thoughts that hold us back or, you know, just that image of something terribly happening to you that maybe really distort, destroyed your confidence in yourself or destroyed your trust in how you trust yourself and others in your life, this is a good time to release that as well. Really sit down and release that. So I want us to be thinking about, especially during this time period here, about things in our lives that we can release from ourselves. And I'm going to give you a couple of ways that you can actually do this. So number one, here's one ritual that you can begin to do to help you release trauma. And we're talking about energetic trauma because the trauma has if you can think of it this way, it's like a movie script. And every time something reminds you or triggers you, you go back to that moment. It could have been a conversation. It could have been something that happened. It could have been something you saw, or it even could have been something you did. And it starts to show it to you live in living color. And then you start to feel this all throughout your body. So here's what I want you to do so you can get that trauma and you can release it. The first thing that I want you to do is I want you to take yourself back to that moment. Just take yourself back to that moment. And as you're taking yourself back to that moment, I want you to have on hand with you a cup of water and I want you to have a piece of paper and a pen, something to write with, preferably blue ink. And the reason I say blue ink is because when you write in blue, you can always tell it's the original, not a copy. You want to infuse all of this energy that you're going to be releasing from yourself in to this ritual. You can even light a candle if you want, or, you know, you can have a candle or incense. You can do whatever you need to do. But once you get back into that feeling of that trauma, I want you to get that piece of paper and I want you to write down everything that it makes you feel. If it makes you angry, if it makes you sad, if it, you know, if it, if it makes you, you know, just anxious, whatever it is, write it on the paper, write it all down on that piece of paper, put it all down. 
and anything else, if it's a thought that keeps coming in your mind, if someone said something to you that it just keeps looping in your mind, maybe they told you you're no good or you're unlovable or they don't want you or they, you know, just whatever some of these crazy things is that sometimes happen, put it on the paper. And once you're done writing it, I want you to write at the very bottom your name and then write, I am releasing this energy, this trauma from my life, my mind, and my spirit, and then sign your name and underneath it put so it is done fold up that paper fold it up nice fold up that paper and after you're done with it I want you to hold that in the palm of your receiving hand and place it over your heart over your heart and release all of the pain, all of the trauma, all of the energy, everything, release it in there. And then take that piece of paper and I want you to drop it in that water and let it sit. Oh, just let it sit in that water. You know, water is so powerful because water holds memory. It does. It holds feelings and emotions but it holds memory. The same water you're drinking is the same water our ancestors in ancient Egypt and Kemet drank. They drank this water. The pharaohs drank this water. The priest and the priestess drank this water. The kings and queens drank this same water that you're drinking. I want you to put it in that water and let it sit. And you're going to let that piece of paper sit in that water until it starts to break apart. And you may want to let it sit for seven hours. Now, after the seven hours that that water has dissolved it, because what it's going to be doing, it's going to be taking all of that energy. And now you're going to hold that cup or that glass that it's in and you're going to place your hands around it. And what I want you to do is I want you to send love. I want you to send joy. I want you to send peace and harmony. Infuse that energy into the water because what you're doing is you are transmuting that energy. And you're also sort of blessing it as you release it because you're releasing it so that it can be recycled into a higher vibration. And then I want you to go outside and I want you to find you a piece of earth. It could be the grass and it doesn't matter the season or where you are in the world. And even if you find a tree, I want you to take that water and I want you to pour it out, pour it out and give it back to earth. So that water can be absorbed and it can be recycled into a higher vibration. So that's a powerful, magical ritual that you can begin to do to release things. And I guarantee you, instantly, instantly, you will start to feel better. Because I want you to make sure that from now on, from that moment that you've done that, that you really choose your thoughts carefully. And even what you're taking in, what you're watching, what you're listening to, and even what you're entertaining in your own mind. Because this is a beautiful time for you to take full responsibility for being an awakened spiritual being growing up on planet earth and now you have cleared the slate 
for some beautiful manifestation to come in. And now that you've released, you've released this out of your mind and out of your heart and your body and your spirit, you can now start to begin to visualize, to imagine and create and manifest a beautiful, beautiful future for yourself in the days and the months and the years to come. But first, we got to clear some of that stuff out, which you did. Amazing. The next place I want you to begin to look is to do this with me now, if you're at home or when you get home, is to take a look around at your sacred space. And now we're going to get into clearing. This is such a powerful act, you know, clearing, looking for things that you can get rid of. And not only are you clearing, but you're also organizing. So I want you to look around your sacred space, a beautiful place to start because we have so much healing energy that our bodies are just soaking up and taking in and our mind is just absorbing through each and every single one of our chakras. Our crown chakras are getting a extra dose of energy and expansion during this time along with our third eye is I want you to look around and start placing things in order, doing some what I love to call funky feng shui. Starting in the kitchen is the perfect place because this is where a lot of magic happens. If you want to activate for more finances to come in, more abundance to flow in your life and more health and vitality to come in, the kitchen is one of those places to do it. It's also the place where healing energy is elevated, not just elevated for the physical body, but also for your mental body and your spiritual body as well. So start in the kitchen, make sure that refrigerator is cleaned out. You don't have anything in that refrigerator with expiration dates on it or anything that is spoiled or old. And if you have food, make sure they're in their proper containers. And then I want you to organize your refrigerator. That's right. You heard me. Organize that refrigerator, you know, place those things in there. Make sure you wipe everything down and clean it. This is a place where you are getting a lot of your nutrition. And so you want to make sure because the refrigerator is a generator and it's how we generate things in our lives. And often when I'm doing feng shui readings and I go in a person's house, I can tell you about everyone who lives in the house based on what they have in the house. So get the kitchen together, clean the stove. That's so important. And make sure you're doing your eating and preparation of your food in your house. And use the eyes on your stove. Because the eyes on your stove, it's almost like your third eye. And when you're using the back burners, this is opening you up to higher frequencies and abundance and prosperity. And a beautiful thing to do is to get a pot of water, get you some cinnamon sticks, right? Drop those cinnamon sticks in that water and put it on a light simmer while you're cleaning the house and it will send those aromas all through the house. Cinnamon is excellent for activating and helping us clear out the debris and the clutter that comes from our conscious mind and allows our third eye to shine. You know, just smelling that cinnamon energy and having that vibration raises the frequency in your sacred space. So that's perfect. You're going to clean out the kitchen, get rid of those glasses that are cracked or broken or 
dishes perhaps that you know you're not going to use or maybe they got a little warped in the microwave or in the dishwasher. You want to clean all of those things out, wipe your cabinets down and when you're done, open up those windows and let the sun shine in. That sun is going to come in bringing in and helping that life force energy, that chi energy inside your sacred space to bring in more health, to bring in more prosperity and to really allow the love and joy in that space to elevate everything and everyone who comes in your sacred space. Mm -hmm. So now... These are some feng shui things you can take a look at. And if you want to dive in more deep, go into the archives. I have tons and tons of shows that I've done and gone into great detail about doing some feng shui. But this is the week I want to challenge all of us that we will be getting things in order. We will be getting them in order, clearing out things, doing some good feng shui all throughout our house starting with the kitchen. Now, one more thing I want to, hmm, I want us to touch on here is I want to talk about you taking responsibility for you. That's responsibility for your thoughts, for your actions, for the words that are coming out of your mouth, and even how you're responding to things. This is a time to stay very grounded because so much what is being activated inside of you has everything to do with these dreams and desires that you're holding in your heart and that you want to manifest. We are in a manifestation year, this seven year. So anything is possible. And I want you to know that anything is possible. We just have to get in the right alignment and start taking the action, move from a place of love, and baby, watch the magic happen because it will happen. So this is all about you being empowered empowering yourself, knowing that you're living a life that starts from the inside out and you are creating what's going on in your world. I also want you to take some time to develop a morning ritual and a nighttime ritual. And in your morning ritual, you take some time to connect with your higher self. So whatever that practice is for you, whether you pray or you meditate or you sit in silence, I want you to make an intention to connect with your higher self and to stay in communication with the highest part of you, the part of you that knows what's in the best interest for you and everything that is around you. It will be speaking through your intuition. And if you listen closely and make an intention to connect with your higher self, you will be able to make these quick decisions. You will be able to know what to do next. You won't be caught off guard because someone says something to you and just react maybe like you've done in the past. You'll think about it and you'll know the words to say, all right? It's about us elevating ourselves, elevating ourselves because so much is going on. We're having visitations and I'm getting notifications from you guys that you're having visitation. And oh, by the way, keep your eye to the sky. Because yes, there are balloons floating around, but I promise you that is only a distraction to what is really going on. And we have visitors who have come. Some of them are ancestors coming to visit 
and some of them hmm, are our galactic beings coming into this earth plane and they are coming here and soon many on the earth plane will see them many are seeing them now because we are going through waves and waves of people waking up to their consciousness for some of us we've seen them all along they walk amongst us this is not a new phenomenon but more people in the world consciousness has raised enough that they cannot deny they cannot deny that we are not the only beings living in our galaxy and beyond. And this is certainly nothing for you to be afraid of. Um, and I promise you, they come in peace. And many of them are coming to really check on us. Because there's a lot of things that are happening behind the curtain. And when that curtain comes down... We're going to see what is really being plotted at this time. You see, some are still living in the vibration of the old world. And so this thing about world domination is still on the minds of some living in this world. But don't worry. Don't worry. Your role that you can play here is to maintain an open and high frequency because there's so much support that we have that is coming beyond the realm of the physical eye. It is crazy and insane at the same time. Speaking of insane, we are getting so many downloads that are coming in like big dew drops of plasma containing infinite knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Our superpowers are coming online and we have to be very grounded and responsible when these activations are happening to us. We can use them for healing inside of our bodies. We can use it for advancing our technology in a way that is helpful to all that are living on the earth plane, coming up with new innovative ways and ideas to do things. And we're going to see this transformation in about six to nine months, discoveries, new inventions, medicine that can heal and cure things, instant activation. We're going to have these origin children that are going to be coming up with some amazing ways that we can start operating in this world. The United States, we will be getting the first dose. And this is why everyone is trying to see what is happening in the skies and in the seas of America. Soon, we will have a new constitution. Soon, we will be operating under a different set of laws. Soon, we will change our education system, our school systems, the way that we think, the way that we eat, the way that we communicate. All of these things are about to get elevated for those of us who choose in such a magical way. I'm going to talk more about this on shows coming up, but you share your thoughts about that down below. But I know you can feel it in your air, in the air, and I know you can even feel it in your body. If you think about it and you sit quietly with yourself for just a moment, you will even notice you can feel everything that's happening in your body. You can tell as the blood is running through your veins that there is this crystallization that's happening and this elevation that is there. I don't want us to get distracted from what's at hand. There is something greater at stake, greater than anything that we can imagine. 
and it's an opportunity for all of us to elevate our consciousness and to live out the purpose for us being the divine spiritual beings that we have chosen at this time. And I know that may sound like, what are you talking about, Miss Blue? What are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about you bringing your unique and authentic self, the person that you know you are, and the person that you want to show up in the world as, and really being a gift to not only yourself and family, but to others in the world, really owning that, really embodying that, and really living that out. It is possible. I know it's possible for me. I know that I am living it, but I promise you, much like you, I haven't even scratched the surface. And so I want us all to not get so caught up into what is distracting others in the world and stay focused. This is the time to stay focused because that's gonna be key on those things you wanna build, focus. Focus on maintaining healthy and loving relationships. Focus. If you have a project or something you're working on, stay focused. Focus on you understanding, learning, and learning how to love yourself. All of these things that we've talked about here, when you put them together, you will see that you can activate that self-love that's inside of you. And when you have that love for yourself and you've fallen so deep in love with you, it's better for your organs. It's healthy for your whole entire body, your mind, your heart, your spirit, the people around you, your community, and the world. And you will be able to share that with everyone you meet in such a magical way. And we all can begin to start elevating, connecting, and helping one another. So don't lose focus. Now, I want to give you some crystals that you can begin to work with. One of the crystals I'm going to give you that would be excellent during this time to work with is sugar light. Sugar light is such a powerful crystal and so powerful for this time. Number one, because it's all about alignment. It's an activating stone and it depels negative or low particles. It inspires the truth. It's very purifying and cleansing. So I want you to get you a sugar light crystal. Do some meditation with it. If you pray, whatever your practice is, bring in that energy of the crystal and work with the sugar light crystal because that's gonna be an amazing crystal to work with. The other crystal that I wanna give you, and when my guides showed me this one, I just smiled because it is something so connected with this Pisces energy, and that is the tiger's eye. The tiger's eye. It's a very, very grounding energy in the tiger's eye, but it also is a highly psychic crystal as well. So get you a tiger's eye and get you one with some of the bands that are very, very rich. You know, those bands that you see in the tiger's eye. The tiger's eye helps you with focus and concentration and also being ready, you know? 
if you get ready and stay ready, you will always be ready for everything that is to come. So working with the tiger's eye, it's a very high vibrational crystal. It really helps you with your self-awareness and also allowing you to quiet your thoughts, especially low frequency thoughts. And it also helps you to focus on the future, your dreams and projects. So those two crystals, amazing to work with at this time, Sugar Light and Tiger's Eye. And let me know down in the comments how you're going to be working with your crystal. And if you have a sugar light or a tiger's eye, you know, um, and how that's going for you to work with it. Now, lastly, before we get out of here, I'm going to encourage you and I want you all to try these things out, especially during this week and the next coming weeks. It's just going to be just what we need at this time. But I want you to think about, hmm, I want you to think about your closing ritual. That's right, closing ritual. So your ritual that you're gonna close out your day with before you go to sleep, you know? But I forgot one thing, and it's a great time to do this maybe midday, is to do your gratitude list. Put those things that you're grateful for, write them down on a piece of paper. And um, just hold on to that. Like I like to write my gratitude list and I keep it in a notebook and I often go back and refer to it. So somewhere during the day, somewhere during your practice, you want to bring in that energy of gratitude. You wanna bring that energy of gratitude in there going to be so important for you to do that is to think about those things in your life that you are truly truly grateful for truly grateful for and I know it's so many it's so many oh my goodness I am totally grateful for each and every single one of you that is connected with Planet Remix <laughs> yeah so now we're going to be moving on before we get ready to get out of here. And we're going to talk about some things that we can do, you know, towards the end of the night and sort of closing our day down and our nighttime ritual. By the way, anytime, whether day or night, and you're taking a shower, it's the best place in the world to channel when you're taking a shower. The other thing that you can do is when you're in the shower after you've cleansed yourself and you really just open yourself up, it's the best place to be in your body, drop down in your body. We know the power of water. Turn around and allow the water to hit you in your back, like in the center of your heart chakra, the largest energy center on the human body, right? Allow that water to come in and visualize light. You pulling in like some green electric light coming into your body taking in energy and that is the great place to be able to ponder those questions about yourself and really do some healthy self reflections not this I'm going to beat myself up but really healthy loving self reflection and you can begin to start asking yourself tough questions to your higher self your intuition and you will get answers because I also want you going back to the release thing take a look at some of these habits and things that we know is not serving us that we're going to release and we're not going to bring it forward to the next day we are not going to do that and really release that 
during that time when you're in the shower. And then if you want to cleanse your aura, this is something our ancestors in ancient Egypt would do is turn the water always to the coolest, not to the freezing cold, but to the coolest. And I want you to circle around three times clockwise and then three times counterclockwise. And that's going to cleanse your energetic body, your aura. It's just going to wash everything from the day away, seal everything up nice nice and tight and in a beautiful and high frequency so when you get out of the shower you are fully in your own unique divine energy mm -hmm. it feels so good trust me <laughs> let me know if you're going to try that shower exercise there i've been giving that out for years so now at the close of the night, when we're getting ready to shut everything down, I would encourage you to just take a couple of deep breaths, exhale, set up a nighttime ritual. It may be a cup of tea. It may be you sort of sitting in quiet. It may even be you listening to Planet Remix and one of the shows in the archives, whatever that is for you. I want you to get in that space get you a list a piece of paper and on that piece of paper I want you to write down all of those things that you want to accomplish you want to focus on the next morning that's right and after you write them down no more than probably seven things Take a look at them and then find you something of a high vibration. It's so important that what we go to sleep with on our minds is what we take with us, not only in the astro realm and put it out into the universe even more, but it also impacts what's going to happen within the next 72 hours. So make sure whatever you are falling asleep to is something beautiful, magical, and powerful. Something that's going to put you right in your sweet spot. Something that will just get you in your sweet spot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now... We're going to get ready to get out of here. I've given you some powerful tools and some techniques sprinkled with some magic that you can begin to start working with. Hmm. This is what you do after the new moon energy is here, especially for this Pisces new moon. February the 19th going into the 20th. This is exactly what you can do to tap into the magic. So I look forward to your comments and I want you to comment down below. Let me know if you try some of these out. Let me know how it goes for you. And also let me know what area of your life are you going to be releasing and if you're going to be doing some feng shui clearing, which I would encourage you to do because you're going to be raising that frequency up, what are you going to start with first? And do you know that one thing, if we had to name one thought that we had to give away, one thought we're going to release from ourselves, one thing that we're going to release from ourselves, and one action we're going to release from ourselves, list them down in the comments. List them down in the comments below. And then also, I would love to hear your thoughts on your takeaways. Uh, takeaways from what to do after the new moon. <laughs> well, I am Miss Blue, the Oracle. I'm going to be signing off from here, but I love you all. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oracle kisses to you. Peace and love. Ciao, so family. I love you all. And I will see you next time right here live on Planet Remix. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe and to share the share. Pass it on. Peace and love. <laughs>
<laughs> Love you all. Have an amazing, wonderful, beautiful week.